Hi, I'm Miriam Joy and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to go into the Miriam Joy vault and pull out some of my Christmas videos that I think you really enjoy. Let's get started. to my studio. Today we're doing one of my favorite, and I always know I say favorite, favorite one's always the last one done, but these are really fun. These are my Christmas domes, and these beautiful glass domes are actually a recycled product that we're going to be doing them, and you're not going to believe what they are made of, but they are made out of our soda bottles. And that is what is so great about them. Everybody has soda for the holiday and has parties and everything. So we're just going to take our soda bottles. You want to make sure that they're soda bottles that doesn't have any holes or different designs in it, that it's nice and straight. You're just going to take off the wrapper. And then you're going to be left with this white stuff. Now, the best way to deal with the white stuff is run it under the hot water under the sink and take a knife that doesn't have um, any surrogated parts on it, a straight part, and scrape it off as easily as you can. Try not to scratch the bottle. That's a little bit easier to do it that way. I've done it with my fingernail and it just takes a long time. And if you do it with a knife, it comes real up real easy. Just be careful not to scratch it. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this part. And I actually removed this part with my little clippers, wire cutters, anything like that. Get that part off of there. And then I use my coping saw or some of your jigsaw and you saw right up next to that ridge. And it's gonna take a little bit of time and try not to press on your bottle too hard. And I actually leave the lid on. And you wanna do this part while there's more stability to the plastic bottle. So go ahead and saw through that. And you probably wanna turn it as you start to get through and just be real careful when that last part goes. If this was something you were doing at home, didn't have access to the saw or anything, tie a ribbon around it, cover it up, not a big deal, and just go on. Now, I have an extra big bottle to make an extra big dome. This is just the bigger sodas. And then I have a smaller one. And another trick is if they get really bent before you start this product project, run real hot water out of your tap and then put the lid on them and let them sit and that expands them back out just fill them as full as you can and also at the very end if you need to blow a little bit of air into it to make it pop out and then seal it up while it's nice and full and leave it set for a while and that really helps warm it up and get rid of the dents now i'm going to take my sandpaper now that we've cut the top part off and we're just going to sand this down and I've still got nicks and stuff in my soda thing I'm not going to worry about it there's snow can go up on the side and it can help it really look like it's snowing inside and cover that up and most of the time you can't even see it just beats going and buying these very expensive domes. I think they start around $8 and can go as high as $30 or $40. So that's what's so nice about it. It's already something we have right in our house that we're going to throw away. Now see the writing on the dome? We're going to remove that with our fingernail polish remover. Just a tad. You don't need very much at all. Gotta watch out for my cracks here. I've been doing so many videos. I've got cracks in my fingers. And just come on off there. There, it's starting to come. And if it has any other writing on it, 
make sure you look at that and see. Sometimes there'll be one lower. There's a white one right there. I think that's not going to show because we're going to cut some of this off. So you have a line right here that's naturally there in the cans or the soda bottles and it's on pretty much all of them and you could cut it there if you wanted to I want to go up a little bit on mine and I find it easier if I have tape on it anyway to help me and I'm going to tape up against this line to give me a straight line on the next level this is going to be the hard part And it's just, I'm just using painter's tape. You can use whatever type of paint because we're not going to use this bottom part. And actually, uh, for this bottom part, I am making poinsettias out of them. So come on over and check that video out. I think they really turn out cute. And it's just the bottom of your soda bottles. All right, so we're going to... Put that there so we have a nice clean line all the way around. And I'm going to start with my hobby knife. I'm going to cut into it to get me going. Try not to bend your bottle. This is just so I can get my scissors in. Okay, and I'm going to use my little craft scissors. where I started it. I thought I started it there. <laughs> On that line, okay. And we're going to cut right at the top of our tape. Try to keep that even. Try to stay right on top of that tape. I've already migrated a little bit above that. Try not to just keep it as even as you can. Let's see, we'll be going up and up. Switch to my little bit bigger scissors here. Oh, yeah, much better. It's not sitting too badly on the bottom. If there's any of these that you absolutely did, they're sticking out. Just trim those down. And I just barely sanded my edges just to get the start plastic off. I'm not doing it up on the dome part itself. Just want to get that kind of smooth and get that extra plastic off. All right, we are cooking now. And what I found that I liked, we're going to be using our crystal candle holder from Dollar Tree, of course. And I went to the candle section and I found a glass candle holder. And I'm going to use that for my bigger dome because that fits right in there for my big dome. Because I want a little bit of the edge on the outside so we can cover our dome up and we don't have to worry about it being perfect. And on the smaller one, same, can or same aisle, I found a mirror and that you use with candles. So we're going to be using the mirror and I don't know if it's an optical illusion. I think it is that I'm not sitting real straight, but that's kind of the hardest part is getting that nice and straight there. So I'm not gonna worry about this guy getting too clean because we're gonna cover him up with snow. And 
I'm not going to worry about the tag on the bottom. You could remove it if you wanted to because that's going to be looking down. I don't think people, unless you're having a wild holiday party, if you are, bite me on over, should be looking at the underneath of it unless they're upside down. All right. And then I found also at the Dollar Tree the little Snow Village people. And in my bigger ones, I bought a little snowman just kind of sitting on where they put the like the collectible ones. And I found some really cute trees. Now you got to make sure that they're not too big and not too little to fit inside of your dome. And we want to straighten out our trees. Now. I've got to decide with this guy if I want to put these other characters or not or if I just want to use my snowman. I'm just going to use my snowman because I've been kind of going with a snowman theme all along and he would be kind of an accent to the other two pieces. So fill them up however you really want. The little Christmas mice that we did, and they're singing this direction instead of forward, they kind of dance as the table gets shaken around. I think would be really cute under the big dome. I was hoping my little tree would fit. Maybe I'll do a smaller tree and put him under the big dome, but I think that would be really cute. So we got to get these trees straightened out, get them standing right. And we're going to glue this on, of course, with our E6000. Our E6000 is a really strong metal to metal, glass to glass type of glue. You can find it in the craft section. If you can't find it, come on over to our website at mariamjoy.com. We do carry it for people that aren't able to find it anywhere else. But I use it a lot. You'll see me in the videos. Is that quite a bit? Now, when you're putting items in here, think about odd numbers. We always try to think even, but nature is odd, so we want to try and put things odd. I've got to bend that tree a little bit there. He kind of popped back out. If you slide your glue around, don't worry about that. We're going to again. We're going to put that snow on top of him. So I'll mess with them probably a little bit more here. So I want one tree a little bit further back than the other tree. And we've got our three items, three, five, different things like that one. Now while that's drying a little bit, you want to also make sure that your lid fits over that. That's not too close to the edges. Or anything like that. Might slide these guys just a tad. Okay, now we're going to clean our dome out and it's going to have some scratches on it. Some are going to be less scratched up than others, so try to find the best ones. And we're going to we want to really, really clean this. Start with our inside. I'm just using regular Windex, get all the fingerprints out, all the scratches, anything like that. Okay, and then we're going to do the outside. And right where the bottles touch, you're going to see a little bit more scratch than others, and that's okay. Now, while you're doing this, you want to start thinking about where you want your front to be, what side is better than the other side. If there's any dents, scratches, you want those in the back. Like I have something on it here, probably knowing me, it's probably glue. I've got glue or dye on everything, I think. So we're going to kind of... Look at all that. And you also have the two creases on the side, so you want to try and not run those right down the center of your design. So once I've kind of got it all clean and got it ready to go, this is really a fast pro project once you get that beginning part done. 
if you do more than one, do it at the same time. This is my E6000. There's nothing like using the last little bit in the tube. Okay, so I've got it all the way around that rim. And we're going to take that rim and we're going to put it straight down. Now, I, when this is drying, I set something heavy on it and kind of leave it for a while before I do the next step. You can push it in and kind of pull it out a little bit because you don't want the snow to get up underneath this so that the glue dries really well. And I just did what I told you I didn't want you to do. I put the part I didn't want right in front. I wasn't paying attention. Now you have that glue there, that's okay. Because again, we're going to cover it up with the snow. And I'm gonna go ahead and E6000 this all the way around. just to secure it on nice and tight. And I think these would be really cute on a mantle. I might not have enough squeeze power to get this all out of here. I may have to throw it away. I do not want that there because that's going to show a little bit above my snow. I'm going to try with my Windex first. If that doesn't work, we'll use our polish remover. And I'm going to go ahead and use just polish remover so try and keep your glue off the nice thing if it happens to me it's probably going to happen to you so you can see how to fix it good we've got that part off and I'm going to see ouch I knew I'd do that in the crack of my finger these little spots back here that I thought were glue it took right off so there you go to remove your glue take your fingernail polish remover and Get that off of there. And I'm just going to finish that up there with my I'm getting into it with my paper towel. Okay, we're not going to worry about that right now because I just keep making it worse. What we'll do is even kind of slide it around right there. Now, we've made a mess down here. And what we want to do anyway is just take our finger. You want to leave that seal up there. I know I've kind of messed with that seal as much as you can. And spread that all around right there. Because what we're going to do is we're going to come in with our snow now. I'm going to try to not make too big of a mess here. And I will. I have snow everywhere. So I don't want to pick this up and mess it up right now. And this was just called the Buffalo Snowflakes. I found it at Walmart. Um, it was $2.50 and it was a long, 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 long ways. I haven't even used half the bag yet and I've done several projects with it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put some along the edges. And if you need to pour a little bit out onto your paper and put it on with your fingers, as long as your fingers don't have too much glue, or if you want to be brave and pour it around, what I did is I cut a corner of mine out so that I could pour it on my projects. 
Now make sure you have this positioned and don't mess with it. Like I said, I would probably let this dry completely first and then do this step. We don't use hot glue on this because your uh, surfaces that you are working with are not porous and they're going to come undone. They're just going to pop right off. You'll melt your dome. And it doesn't take a lot of a snow. A lot of this is going to come off. I'm going to take my finger in a minute and I'm going to press it on. I never knew that it was buffalo snow. I've never looked at it before. But this is that, I keep referring to it as the holiday spirit sparkly Christmas snow. You could use whatever kind you like. Okay, so now we've got that all the way in. Now the next thing we're going to do is we are going to pour the snow into our dome. Now I tried a couple of ways of doing this, so whichever way works best for you. Pouring it into the paper and sticking it down or pushing it directly into the dome right out of the package. Now the bad thing is it kind of all comes with a one big pile up at the top. And I don't want to mess with my dome too much because he's still gluing. So I'm going to do it on a piece of paper. And yours you should be waiting. And you stick in as much snow as you want. I want enough that it looks like snow and that it looks like all the glass is covered up so you don't see the glass at all. Now it's going to come into a pile at the bottom of this and once your dome is dry, if you've already waited till then, you can pick it up and shake it so you know how deep it is or how much you want in there and you can add as little or as much as you want to. Now another thing I might suggest and I almost did it before I put it in is sprinkle some pieces on the dome inside first and the static clean will kind of keep them up there. I've also just kind of just turned it around once it's all done and got some snow up on here so it looks like it's falling on the inside of course not the the outside so you keep on filling that guy up until you get him where you want him and i would probably undo this one do it three to four times more than what i've done already so I'll set that there and then i liked i took one of these crystal ornaments and you can find the crystal ornaments a lot of times at the craft shops and I had a bigger crystal ornament for my big jar and I misplaced it somewhere so I put a Christmas ornament this is actually one of my melted crayon ornaments so check those out but anything that kind of fits and looks like a top you could also use a round bulb that is big enough or whatever you wanted. Now what I did with this is I wanted something falling so I'm going to uncut those off and I'm going to tie this and I want them different lengths one longer and one shorter so this is one of those slippery guys so we're going to tie him twice and pull him down so that those go kind of hang down and I found some snowflake um, what am I trying to say here <laughs> um, oh man it's got to tell me here confetti that's the word been doing that a lot this year. Guess that big birthday's sneaking up on me. All right, and I did one for two for each one because we're going to put the string in the middle. I'm going to use my E6000 again here. 
don't want to use hot glue on these it'll just melt them right up and what we're going to do is we're going to set the string you want to get most of that string in the middle that you can but not coming through the other side and we're going to line our confetti up so it only looks like one snowflake you could make it look like a double snowflake I just couldn't make mine look really good so I just line them straight up and of course I stick my hand straight in the glue and the second one and it's not going to keep these guys from unraveling anymore so this way we look like we've got the snow falling as well. And I would go ahead and put a little tiny bit of E6000 if you're done with the lid. If you're not, don't glue it in yet. But then you glue it in. When you're ready, it keeps everything nice and tight in there. And see how much the little snowflakes kind of add to that? That gives it a real... Uh, snowy winter feeling as well. When that is complete, I'm just going to use this guy to show you. We're going to take our E6000 again, we're going to glue it, and we're going to put our dome right on top. Make sure it's right on top there. I thought about doing that part first, but it's harder for me to work on that. But if that was easier for you to give some time for that to dry and then put your dome on and keep on working that is fine too and that is our little recycled christmas dome and i just had a ball with this it was a lot of fun and a real inexpensive project i probably did this less than five dollars by the time i counted all the individual uh, pieces and everything so um, come over check out some of our other videos check out our crayon melted our glass melted crayon <laughs> it's seasons here huh I haven't been hitting the eggnog I promise a uh, melted glass ornament video as well as the poinsettia that we're going to make out of the bottle the bottom of our soda bottle so yeah you can email me <laughs> at artandmiriamjoy.com for those parties it looks like I've already been hitting a few of those come on over to Facebook we're having a lot of fun doing the holidays there at Miriam Joy Gorg Creations Merry Christmas and God bless